Meet one of my friends, who I'm going to refer to as Boss. He's quite a few things, but for the purposes of this video, all you need to know is that he's the current world champion of not caring what other people think. In fact, if we're out in public, I make sure to stay at least five feet away from him. This way, if he says something especially stupid, I can pretend I don't know him and join the crowd that's rushing over to beat him up. Anyway, Bus and I had a few classes together in high school. My memory of the first few are hazy, but the last one was so traumatic that I don't think I'll ever be able to forget it. I don't remember much of the actual content, but I do remember that it was the most miserable experience I've ever sat through. The teacher was an old man who seemed like an incredible guy on paper, but his life experiences apparently didn't have any bearing on his teaching. He had a habit of repeating one fact in a monotone for an hour and a half and calling out a lesson, while all of the students struggled to stay conscious. Had it not been for Bus and my two other friends in that class, I would have just hid in the bathroom and watched YouTube. A class with Bus, however, is never boring. It's just a matter of time before he does something. One day, he showed up to class with a small parcel wrapped in tin foil, which he peeled back to reveal a turkey sandwich. This in itself wasn't abnormal. Earlier that year, the administration decided that it would be a good idea to make lunch start at 12.40, so it was fairly common for kids to eat in class, because by the time they got to the lunch line, there wouldn't be any food left. But instead of eating the sandwich like a normal person, Bus opened it up and removed a singular piece of lettuce. As the teacher walked towards our end of the room, Bus established eye contact and, ever so slowly, started to eat his lettuce. Once he had finished that piece, he pulled out another, and never once breaking eye contact, started to eat that one. I'm not sure if the teacher realized what was going on, but the rest of us trying our best not to laugh certainly did. As we walked to lunch, the four of us decided that we needed to pay homage to this incident. And what better way to do that than eating a whole head of lettuce between the four of us on the last day of class? Now skip forward to the day before the last class. Any shadow of remorse or doubt about whether or not this was the right thing to do had been erased after our teacher told us that we would be having a quiz on the last day, in spite of the fact that we had already taken our final. We were fully committed to seeing this tribute carried out to its conclusion. Unfortunately, we realized that the guy in charge of getting the lesson had gotten red cabbage instead, and so I had to go to the nearest store that was still open, sneak through the exit because they were trying to shut down for the night, and get some lettuce for the boys. Lettuce is so popular, however, that they had already sold out, so I did the next best thing and bought a head of cabbage. I must have been a strange sight, driving through darkened neighborhoods at 11pm, blasting trap music with only a head of cabbage as my passenger. The next day, I cut the cabbage up into four quarters and brought it to school, carrying it with me until it was finally time for that dreaded class. After the four of us simultaneously sat down and class started, I quietly pulled the cabbage out of my bag and placed it between our four desks. Each of us took a quarter and, as we took the quiz, ate it in as loud and obnoxious manner as possible. The quiz was just as bad as we had anticipated, so bad in fact that I gave up five minutes in and handed in my paper with a big shrug emoticon in the place of my remaining answers. But I didn't regret buying the cabbage instead of studying for a single second, because by the time I had turned in my quiz, the smell had permeated the entire classroom and people's heads were starting to turn. Keeping the cabbage in a closed bag at room temperature for a whole day had concentrated whatever natural smells it had, and so when I opened the bag for our feast, the fermented odors made the whole room reek of cabbage. Either way, I sat back down and joined a match of Call of Duty Mobile while I worked on my portion. After losing to some sweaty 30-year-olds who had nothing better to do than to bully kids in an online game, I looked up to see Bus finish his quarter of cabbage and start on another. He set aside a singular leaf, which he quietly placed on his head to represent those original leaves which he had consumed so many months ago. This was the only aspect of the cabbage eating that the teacher seemed to pick up on, as he absentmindedly told Bus as he was walking out at the end of class that he had cabbage in his hair. Bus put on his best look of surprise and removed the lettuce, only to slowly eat it, all while maintaining eye contact. As he finished, he thanked the teacher for a wonderful year and, ignoring all the people asking us why we had pulled out an entire head of cabbage in the middle of class, walked off to lunch. Like and sub, I need to make back the money I spent on the cabbage because that came directly out of my college fund.